Ah, let's do this. Welcome, everybody, to the seventh episode of the Conception Nutcast. I am, of course, your host, Colonel Panic, and with me today, another member of the R Anime Podcast Discord, Vancer. Hey, what's going on, guys? What is going on, everybody? And happy Thanksgiving. This will be dropping oh, yep. when it, Thanksgiving, uh, I guess, morning, noon in the US. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, so happy Turkey Day. Yeah. We don't really do that much here, but we still do Black Friday, so that's nice. We get that. <laughs> you get all the discounts with none of the hassle of travel. Exactly. But I'd love to have a Thanksgiving dinner. It looks amazing. Yeah. I have to work Thanksgiving, so that's fun. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> get time and a half, but still. All right. So, how do you feel? Seven. Yeah, we should probably I should ask you. How do you feel about conception so far? I literally don't even know where to begin with this show. There's there's so much to unpack with every episode. So many and, poor choices you have to. Oh yeah. Ask yourself why why this why that why why was this <laughs> animated well but not this other thing and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like why like why was this something that the like the industry was like this is exactly what our audience needs right now is this show. This is the show. It's like you had you had no other ideas, this is what you settled on. Yeah. They like game adaptations and li- they like adaptations <laughs> in general. And this was yeah. a visual novel, game, dating sims, crossover thing, so they were like this is made for an anime. Good enough, yeah. Turns out it's not. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not very good. Yeah. What even? I think I, I have it at like a two right now. Yeah, me too. I'm at a two. I know. I think I actually have it at a ten right now, just to keep up appearances. <laughs> but it'll become a two later. <laughs> I have to pretend that I love it. Cause yeah. I mean, cause I do. I think it's a lot of fun, but it's also absolute garbage and some of the worst anime I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that's fun to talk about and just make fun of, but if it's one of those shows that you don't talk to, like, if you just watch it and have no one to talk to about it, yeah, it's one of the worst ways to spend your time. I'm so happy I decided to do the, the podcast about this show. Oh, it, it, it's, so, it's so easy to grab content from every little scene. Exactly. It's packed with <laughs> failures <laughs> and poor decisions. I would have a lot more, like, even though the first two episodes were great, I would have a lot more trouble making a podcast about Zombieland Saga, which just yeah, became I'd agree. boring. <laughs> yeah, I'm still enjoying it, but it's definitely not the same. Like, it doesn't have the same impact it did through two episodes. No. Like, at first two, it felt like a parody of idol shows, and then at five, it started just feeling like an idol show. <laughs> yeah. It stopped being a parody. It became... It lived long enough to see itself become the villain. <laughs> so, I mean, It didn't I'm, take very long, either. I'll probably keep up with it at some point. I'll wait till it's done and then binge it. But right now, it's... I should probably put it on hold. I'm yeah, it's on the back burner. Up, not keeping up with it at all. Anyway... So what happened this episode? I just watched okay. it, and there's so much. Yeah, I just I just went through and I watched it like the night it came out, and then I just rewatched it like the the little bit of time that oh, I had wow. like, while you were. <laughs> I was like, I might as well watch it again to see anything that I missed. Yeah, did you miss anything? I I don't think so. <laughs> Granted, I also like I skimmed it the second time around. Like I just kind of had it on in the background while I was setting up like Audacity and everything. Yeah. So it's, I uh... thankfully didn't pay too much attention to it. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to watch the English dub when it comes out because one of the VA, the voice actor for the cousin, I forget what her what her name is, the voice actor, I put some was... outtakes on Twitter and they were great. <laughs> they were <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> so I, I, I didn't even know this was getting a dub, so I'm really excited. Isn't it? That's insane, right? This yeah. of all things is getting like a professional dub. It's absolute trash. It's. Uh. I'm going to have to watch at least a couple episodes of that, like, to hear. I guess I imagine a Western voice actress who's not used yeah. to, like, the anime business or whatever. I imagine them having to do the character from the last episode and be like, okay, your character motivation is Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and now you love the MC. That's so weird. And I was, yeah, okay. Oh, what happens? Okay, so the the raccoon is... Immediately raccoon, of course, always just lead lead with the raccoon because everybody yeah. loves it. It's the best everyone's thing ever. favorite character. Yeah. 
uh, <laughs> writing a mystery novel. And I was like, oh, this is going to be like a mystery episode or whatever. But no, it's just a mystery. <laughs> yeah. And the dead girl was lying on the floor, had dropped some bread. Again with the fucking bread, like last yeah. episode. This episode and really it's... reinforces that all they eat <laughs> is bread. <laughs> is bread. And it's just bread. There's no like special fancy name. It's just bread. I, there was banana no, bread. I'm, I'm wondering if... Because they say, like, the Japanese word for bread is uh, pan, pan. Yeah. I want, yeah. does, can that mean cake? Or does it I just no mean idea. bread? I have no idea. Because the little girl inherits, like, the grandpa at the end of last episode gave her his recipe book with a hundred bread recipes. pieces of bread. How? 100 how types of bread you can bake. And I agree with the main character being like, a hundred? <laughs> what the fuck? There's that many? Also, even before that, uh, the raccoon's like, oh, you know, let's. Work. there's this festival. You might know it as a school festival. I'm like, we don't have a high school setting. You don't need to call it a school festival. It's just a festival. Those things happen. <laughs> but they have to call it a high school festival because yeah. this is a dating sim slash dungeon crawler. And <laughs> I, not having played any dating sims, visual novels, kind of stuff like that, I just have to assume that half of these settings they're using are just popular settings from dating sims. Because it's like, there's the beach, yeah. there's a nun in a church, <laughs> now it's the school there's festival. Like the the uh, like uh, haunted house that he was setting up as well. Haunted That's house, common. yeah. yeah. Um, dark back room of a bakery block. <laughs> classics. Bag over the head, yeah. <laughs> Mostly classics, but there's some fresh new additions, such as kidnapping. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. very exhausting to think about this show, but yeah. we have to do it. Someone's got to do it. All right, so she's got her 100 pieces of bread uh, recipe book, and but. of course one page is missing, and it's one. It's the one hundredth recipe, and for oh, some no. reason, that's the best one. It's, the, and it's, it's missing. The, it's the happy bread. The happy bread, <laughs> and it's I wrote down. Oh yeah, a thing he can get for her, so he can fuck her. <laughs> this is the basically. Fetch, yeah, this is the fetch like, quest. <laughs> it's yeah. It's a, it's a side quest. It's like I need to go find this bread so I can have sex with this this lolly. Mm. I guess I'll. But they I'll go don't find that. actually go find the missing page. They just make a bunch they of just different make a bread. Bunch of bread. All... For some reason, it was all fruit and seafood were her guesses. Yeah, because so one really is weird. a dick innuendo and the other is vagina. <laughs> so they yeah. just all. Oh, not even not even talk about that. She did like the, oh the mango bread, and then she did like she had like a bunch that she labeled off that were fruit, and then yeah, like, yeah. Oh, but but seafood. I mean like fruit also are had... often ma- used to make dick jokes. And oh yeah, f- seafood the vice versa. But yeah. The first thing she we see her do is like rolling a big log of dough, and it's shaped oh, like my dick. God. <laughs> I was, like, in, in, I was writing notes. I just like as she was rolling, I went. Not, I literally wrote oddly fla- uh oddly phallic shaped dough, yeah. and that's. I just left my note at that, and then of course she picked it up and held it right in front of her face. I'm of like, of course, I think they're trying to tell us something here. And the whole, I hear that when in your world, when guys like a girl, they say they want a piece of her. So if I was yeah. a piece of bread, which part of me would you want to eat? It's like uh, usually the softest part. The is softest the part, right? <laughs> Which part of you soft and tasty? (laughs) Your ears. I know. (laughs) Your ears. Oh, my God. And then they had that just, like, out of left field, like, here's her in underwear as well. Like, it's, like, him thinking. I'm, like, you didn't need to show us that. I have to to think of every part. Which one would be the softest? The shoulder? The lower back? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. The ear. Oh, my God. Oh, dodged a bullet. And And then (laughs) within, like, 30 seconds, she's, like, Here's bread in the shape of ears. It's like, did you know I was going to answer this? How did you already have these ear breads ready? They were, they were already baking. I got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lucky guess. Then and immediately after... they start throwing puns at us. A bunch of puns the, that I don't get. Sur- this. Uh, like the yeah, uh, sur- surplus of like, surprises. It'll make, and it'll make your ear because they were ears. Your new new y- ear. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, well, it's, uh, it's top writing skill right there. I love puns i will oh i will defend puns till the day i die i think oh i do too i think fate but when they come naturally i think fate on the main pod gets a lot of shit for his puns and i for one love them <laughs> I, the funny thing is i immediately thought of fate as soon as i saw that scene i was right. like 
he needs to see this. It's the same he's with the uh, Pisces episode, really, full of Sir Pisces and stuff. Yeah. I'm like, yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Puns are funny. Fuck everybody who don't think so. <laughs> well, okay. So the next thing she bakes is a censored piece of bread. She, they One hundred censor bread. What, what show is this? One hundred percent shaped like a dick. <laughs> It's got it's balls just... and it's got a head and she licks the tip <laughs> and then eats it. <laughs> Who eats bread that way? That's what I want to know. It's like, oh, I've got this bread. I have to taste oh, the tip it. of it good. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I was... so, the <sighs> caption's like, why are there eggs like glued to the bread? Like, yeah. There's just clearly why two did... eggs apparently attached to the bread. Why did you add things to the bottom to look like balls? Yeah. I get... Because <laughs> it's funny. I, I oh. saw that and I was like, first of all, screenshot, share with everybody because this is great. Yeah. Second of all, it's like, yeah, that's my thumbnail. It's <laughs> the thumbnail <laughs> for this episode. <laughs> it was going to be the bait. big dough dick she was rolling earlier, but this was better. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you have, you, have so much, you have so many choices in this episode. Right. Because then they bake a clam, like a clam bun and a oh, yeah. balloon. A balloon. How do you say that? I don't know. This type of clam, a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, looks like a vagina. <laughs> yeah, they had to censor that too. And then they didn't censor it in the next shot for some reason. No, because then they showed the actual clam. Oh, and that's okay. I, so I thought that's that was supposed okay. to be her. Okay. So that's just them being <laughs> but, accurate. But the other, I don't. But it was bread shaped as a clam, censored. Clam, uncensored. Well, because th- there's nothing. Because the bread shaped as a clam. No was consistency. A vagina joke. <laughs> so, I know, but it's. Yeah, yeah. You can still say it's a clam. But, that, but that's what makes the difference for the censors, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. I guess to get the joke across, even though they didn't need to censor it, I, I guess. I, bet, I don't know. I bet they thought about that for hours. Do we censor this bun? Do we not? <laughs> uh. Okay, so she does the thing where she bakes a bunch of either fruit or seafood themed. Breads. Yeah. And the show did me did me the huge favor of reminding me of the grossest animal in existence, the geoduck. <laughs> do you do you know what that is? I do not. But now I'm very interested in it. I'm gonna look it up real quick. Big muscles like clams that have a dick coming out of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, I think I know exactly. And they squirt water. And they're disgusting. Oh, okay, yeah, I know. I do know what this is. And I, mean, I just never knew the name of it. But they're also a delicacy in some Asian countries, and I cannot imagine that. Fe- like, it's got to be so rubbery <laughs> and <laughs> cannot taste good. It looks, it's a disgusting animal. I would suggest everybody Google it and then immediately close the browser because yeah, you're going to be sick. <laughs> a species of very large edible saltwater clam. But it's got a hmm. dick coming out of it, like yeah, it's, an elephant it's, trunk dick kind of thing. And it's, the photo is a dude like holding it with his hands, and it's massive. It's filling like both of his hands. Yeah, I know the picture. I don't even have to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one it is, and it just looks like a massive dick coming out of a clam. And uh, why would she bake that? As, uh, <laughs> maybe bread. it's the happy bread. She's just try- she's trying everything. And those are the first the first things that came to her mind. Oh, seafood, delicious seafood. What do we have? Oh, the dick mu- the dick clam. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. It's the best of both worlds. Anyway, when I think happy, the first thing that comes to mind is dick clam bread, yes. and I'm like, that's got to be recipe 100. It is a very great name for an animal, though. The geo duck. It sounds like a it Pokemon. is pretty cool. Yeah, I was about to say something. It sounds like a Pokemon. It's like Geo dude and Gold Duck. Yeah, it's like they're game one. <laughs> I don't know. Do they do that these days? Combined evolutions? I don't know Pokemon uh, anymore. Uh, like a... No. There's probably a site where we can literally look up like geo. Oh, that's right. There is the, a the, like, site where you can like things. combine yeah. them. That's right. What would a geo duck looks like? That would be <laughs> just a yellow stone with a beak. Uh, anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> they invent happy bread. They reinvent it based on absolutely nothing, and it's a sausage roll. And they do a great little gag, where it's <laughs> it's uh, framed and lit and. Uh, scored like a porn scene. <laughs> it was <laughs> as he inserts amazing. the sausage <laughs> to a thing of dough, <laughs> <laughs> and they make all the sounds. And it's I thought that was funny. That was a, I thought it was kind of funny, but it just it made me incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Everything with watching. this little girl should make you uncomfortable. <laughs> 
That's yeah, that's true. Because there's too many of them in this show, but we get oh, yeah. we get uh, rid of two of them this episode, luckily, because yeah. uh, he ends up uh, banging the Taurus girl too, Ta Tarwa. Yeah. I don't remember her name, honestly. Who is like a messenger who runs too fast. Yeah, that made no sense to me. She's like, ah, oh, I run too fast. I can't deliver letters. And that somehow blew the raccoon's mind. And yeah. I was just like, okay. She had a weird little arc. <laughs> and he got summoned to the ghost, the was supposed to be ghost house, became a postal training facility. Yeah. In a great little like flash cut of sequences where he gets trained to be a postman <laughs> yeah just like deliver letters yeah and somehow like, this was way better made than all the rest of the episode yeah, the, the scene of him skydiving actually looked really good right like I, I watched it like three times three or four times i'm like I had to go back and this be like, is amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was fucking epic and later they have some shots of them like putting envelopes in uh, mailboxes and it looks smooth as shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks it's like that's really where all good. their money went was into the mail delivering scenes. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, they <laughs> they invent happy bread, so they're ready for the festival. They have to set up shop. Yusuha and Mahiru, the cousin, yeah. both have been told by Femiruna's grand uh, his her dad. That they're supposed to be selling lunch packs this time. Yeah, and <laughs> she's like the Miss Lunch Pack or whatever, like yeah, the she, highest honor. She yeah, Yusu has such a big consumer of them that she got to she get to wear the sash. Would <laughs> 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 be like repre- uh, representative of the company, I guess. Yeah, uh, and I like how the like basically like the quote unquote happy bread. They're like, I think this is the happy. Granted, they. It was never confirmed that was the happy bread. No. I was like, I guess this is it. And well, it's, all it is is just like a fancy pretzel dog. That's all it is. It is. <laughs> Basically. I mean, it looks, just made it looks good. But it, I th- definitely look, it definitely looks very good. But yeah. That's all it is, just a pretzel dog. I think what we're supposed to take away from it is that they couldn't recreate the old happy bread. But this one they made together with their emotions. So it's the well, new happy bread. It's very, very deep. Happy I, bread is it's like a traveling title. Yeah. Had the, the real happy bread was the <laughs> recipes we found along the way or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, so they have the new happy bread or whatever. Uh, I do like, I did notice, because Femiruna shows up later. They say she's not gonna because she's fucking traumatized from last episode. Yeah. <laughs> but she does anyway. <laughs> yeah. For no fucking reason. Up. Yeah. I do like that while he's away with the... Um, Taurus letter. girl. Yeah. Letter girl. Yeah. They cut back to, like, Yusuha and the cousin and Femiruna just, like, working the stalls. Yeah. And this is the stuff I like. I like seeing <laughs> the other characters interact without the MC and, like, do yeah, things. Because <clears throat> it's, like, they exist outside of his yes. reign. I, and that's also what I liked in Monster Musume. It's, like, when the girls get to fuck around with each other and the main character doesn't have to be there yeah i like that that's like that's sweet and a thought occurred to me that this show passes the bechdel test they have I, you know what, I that don't is? know what that is no oh it's the rule it's like a uh 10 year old 15 maybe old rule of if a movie has Two named female characters talk to each other about anything other than a man. Oh, okay, gotcha. They pass. Or like, <laughs> yeah, or like anything super stereotypical. Yeah, yeah. And, and so many movies don't pass it. It's insane. Oh, yeah. Like, even the Harry Potter movies. It's just <laughs> <laughs> so many women in those movies, and they don't talk to each other about anything other than boys. But this show passes because they just mind their stalls. <laughs> and yeah. they do the... Uh, Marie Antoinette quote with uh, let them eat cake, but this time it's let them have panties. Because <laughs> they, yeah. they ran out of lunch packs. So like, oh, we ran out of lunch packs. If they panties. Can, if they can't have uh, pan, have let them have pansu. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they set pretty up straightforward. A, so it's a, it's a kind of game they set up where people can just go pack. It's about packing as many panties as you can, but then you just get to have them. 
Yeah, you just put them in a brown bag and you leave. And you leave. It's really weird. At the end, Colette has has collected a hundred pairs of panties. Yeah. And she does a nice little wink to the camera. As it it's it all really uncomfortable. It's circle fades around her face. like, or this, Now let's just have the battle, but this time it's like, get good underwear and good panties. Wink. Well, it was, uh, it was what, socks and underwear? I think he's like, that's what my socks, grandfather always told me. Socks and underwear. I don't want to know how... I, I'm glad we don't meet this grandfather. He sounds like a creep if all of his bread is, like, phallic-shaped and he's teaching his, like, six-year-old daughter how to make dick bread. I don't like, think... I don't think... want to meet this guy. <laughs> no, that's not fair. I think all the dick-shaped <laughs> bread was them attempting to invent happy bread. Maybe. I don't... You never know. There's a hundred recipes. There is a hundred recipes, one. but she just know that the hundredth <laughs> that's missing, for whatever reason, is the best one. But then they yeah. end up not doing that one either. <laughs> 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 so that whole book could just be tossed away. Yeah. Uh, all right. They... I noticed a, a weird thing through the episode. They kept talking about repetition, and I thought that was really weird. Like, the MC mentioned, like, you said that twice. They kept going back to the... Uh, Gemini like the, Girl? Yeah, it was like, come to our concert, or whatever. Oh, like, they right. kept cutting to all these weird things. The person, like, the delivery uh, male chick, she kept talking about how she kept over and over saying, I'm too fast, and these letters mean something to someone. Granted, I know anime does that a lot where they repeat themselves, but there was like an obs- like a lot of just repeating the same line. Yeah, but he also and, pointed it out, and I didn't notice that, yeah, but exactly. I didn't really pay much attention. I think it might on, I might be giving the show a little bit too much credit. No, I love this. But the theories. I think <laughs> it might be leading to something, because there's also the dude who was stood in line. I might have to like look up the clip real quick. There was the dude standing in line going to get the, like, get the panties at the, uh, like, at the little shop that was set up there. Oh, the blonde guy? Said, yeah, he said something. I'm trying to pull it up real quick. I'm trying to figure out what he said. Not the gay blonde, uh, but the book he's, blonde. Yeah, yeah. He says something like, this is all to save the world. He grabbed 13 of them, and on the way in, he was saying, like, he just kept saying, like, oh, ancient literature, ancient literature. As he's grabbing me, he goes, this is to save the world. He grabbed 13 and went, 13, and then ran away. I think this might actually be leading to something. What the oh, fuck? It might be leading to the 13th Zodiac. Yeah, now I'm thinking they need 13 Holy panties because there's 13 girls. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I just, that's crazy because, yeah, it was it Nix mentioned, like, the, the 13th Zodiac. Yeah. And she kept saying, come to my concert. Yes. She was in the episode many times just spitting the one line. I'm convinced that she's going to end up being relevant and like the yeah. 13th one. I did like that she said idol because <laughs> she's got yeah. the, the star-shaped pupils and stuff. I just she, I just pieced that all together. Like I noticed and thought it was kind of weird, but I think I think that might be right. If it's not, we're giving the show way too much credit. But I could 13 totally pairs of panties now. seems oddly specific. Yeah. Since there and is kept, 13 potential girls. And he kept spouting nonsense about ancient literature and whatnot. But the repetition part is still strange. Yeah. It was weird. Because they also kept showing the Gemini girl doing her one person, uh, whatever that type of comedy is called. Yeah. Oh, give Sorry. me a break where they hit themselves. <laughs> the straight yeah. man hits the other guy. and What's that? Yeah, is, is that? That's not Rakugo, is it? I have no idea. I don't know what it's called. Oh. They do it in some other stuff, too. Now I'm trying... Mm-hmm. Where the fuck did I see it? Never mind. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> I saw attempt. it recently in something else where they're trying to teach someone to have a sense of humor. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, bakery girl is finally ready to have a kid. So they go to the back room. And then they're... Then they're in the bed, and now I'm starting to raise questions. Because how the fuck do they get to that bedroom? I mean, to be fair, isn't that everything we get, like, transported to a bed? Because it's always the same bed, like, but, for every... But in episode two or three, the main character and the cousin is about to get down in a hot spring. Okay. And Raccoon says... No, 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 not here. You have to do it in the bed, so get in the fucking carriage. 
and then they're yeah. tra- then they're driven back to the bedroom. Uh, yeah. So are they transported there, or do they have to go there? I don't know, because every <laughs> other time it just seemed like, oh, we're gonna bang, and then suddenly they're just well, they're there. Yeah, well, with we got the, my the music Boom. playing, <laughs> and then the same song plays. Yeah, Which that was the only time they actually had to go anywhere. Yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. Not that it's not very consistent, but I'm guessing they just get <laughs> teleported. It's like a state of mind or whatever. It's Maybe like yeah. It's a Persona Five mind palace. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're asking questions like, "How did they get in the bed?" I'm more concerned about where they got those costumes and yes! how I can get my hands I on one. Them. <laughs> this was the funniest sex scene so far. <laughs> They're dressed up as a sausage and, <laughs> and, and fucking and bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. It was pretty good. I mean, I I, t- just... I I love it when a gag at least kind of pays off in this show because it's, so much of it just falls completely flat. So yeah. it takes very little to make me very impressed. <laughs> with like, oh, they tried. I <laughs> ten out of ten. They tried. Uh, I think else? that's that's pretty much it. There wasn't a like a whole lot that happened. No, that, yeah, Too he banks much. the. the oh, and then he banks the letters chick. The Taurus girl. Yeah. That he helps her find some letters in a swamp or whatever, in a bog. Yeah. <laughs> They're searching for hours, looking in the mud. He goes, they, All right, I'm stopping. He goes, Oh, it's up there in the tree. Oh, it's up in the tree. Here we go. <laughs> I go, oh, Okay, cool. They give each other some letters, pass them back and forth, and I'm like, Oh, this is the first letter I ever send anyone without a stamp. Uh, here you go. Oh my god, so romantic. Yeah, and, and then, then it just says, "Will you have my child?" Will you later just, "Will you have my child?" Yes, <laughs> yes, of oh. course. And they go to the bedroom, and they are in underwear still. Which uh, I mean, yeah. I keep this. Co- it comes back to this every fucking episode. Is what do they do in there? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like just the connection. That's all they need, and then that's the kids what, appear. That's what they said in episode two. But then they have clips yeah. where they're fucking nude, and the, after the threesome, the nurse couldn't feel her legs. And <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. I remember you making that comment, and I was like, "You never know. Maybe she just, you know, she she was sitting on them weird. She, you know, she felt they fell asleep on her because she was sleeping weird. I don't know." I have no idea. <laughs> she was sitting weird for five minutes. Yeah. Oh no, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> ah, ah, they've gone numb. She's I have gotta, to like, lie stand down and stretch. And be all googly eyed and <laughs> <laughs> gasping for air. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what happens in the episode. I mean, big fan of head pats. Who oh, wasn't? that was. Uh, <laughs> don't <laughs> don't get into the big bed with the lolly, and then she's nervous, and then you give her head pats. That's not the venue. She goes, oh, thank you. Now I'm calm and ready. It's like pumps are sweaty. <laughs> now she's calm and ready. Uh, don't like head pats are for like oh daughter roos and stuff. You oh you're a cute little girl. Here's a head pat. Not we're about to fuck and you're nervous. Here, <laughs> pat pat. <laughs> That's not the time, I don't think. Yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> uh, what's your zodiac, by the way? I'm a Scorpio. Oh, so you were. I was a um, Halloween birthday. Halloween birthday. Nice. Yeah. And your girl is the nurse. Yes. Best girl right now, as of right now. We haven't. Yeah, I'd agree with that. We haven't met Libra yet. Uh who, yeah, who right. I'm thinking is probably gonna end up being best girl because she's more adult. She's in a suit. Yeah. So we still need her, like short That's white the, hair. Like the short white hair, yeah. yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the short white hair, but I do kind of like her. I like that she's actually looks more like an adult than every other character. I like white hair in any length. Um, so there's her with short white hair, and then the other girl that's left is Sue. Sagittarius, who's another oh, yeah, lolly, yeah. also with short white hair. She's very shy. Yeah, she's... We did see her a little bit. She was at the petting zoo at the beginning of the episode. She seems less lolly than the other two, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know that I agree with that. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Colette <laughs> seems like she seems at least like she's like maybe fifteen or so, whereas the other two are like ten, and that's a little concerning, especially since I'm, of course, I'm on the episode with the two youngest oh. members of the cast. <laughs> I'm like, cool, I get to talk about this. Of course, great. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't remember which ones are, like, super lolly. I remember I had Colette tagged as the 
hyper lolly. <laughs> yeah, the she's, of them yeah all. she's super young. And of course she gets a two episode arc. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. And then Taurus just like gets tagged along this one, just out of the way. Yeah. Much like the uh, uh, Faroon, the Capricorn. Just yeah. got like, oh, it's the threesome episode. We need to get tossed in. Bam. <laughs> Talk to her yeah. for a minute, then she's in. <sighs> I shockingly liked the Capricorn as well. Like, she was, like, actually had more of a personality than a lot of the other characters in the show, even though she's only in there for, like, half an episode. Yes, yeah, so she, she was unhappy with her long yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. And uh, now we move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on to the next, on to the next shit. Uh,. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I think that's probably all of the show. Uh, I think so. Would you, do you have any show you would recommend this season? Um, not that anyone hasn't already said before. I'm Bunny. enjoying Bunny Girl and Zombieland Saga, and those are actually Run with the Wind is probably might be one of my favorites right now as well. Yeah, Run with the Wind is is up there with uh, uh, Bunny Girl Senpai. Those are probably my two top right now. I'm honestly interested in Run with the Wind. I haven't tried it out yet because I the only thing I'd heard was um, uh, Moss's thing about how the first episode is all character introductions. Yeah, then... it's like that for maybe five. If you I'm gonna plug the 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 our anime podcast. If you go and you can listen to uh, the the was it summer? What are we? What's fall Jesus? impressions? Fall, yeah, the fall impressions. I don't even know. We were on. The, I was on that one, and we. Uh, we had a little. We had. We talked about it a little bit more. Moz stated that, and we talked to him about it. Oh, and by right. the end of it, we convinced him to give it a second try. That's probably where he I heard it. He might. <laughs> Either that or his uh, the chart he does or whatever. Yeah. But I had. I saw a picture from it. I was very impressed with it because it was like a guy lying in bed, and you could like tell he had body hair. And I was like, "What the fuck? That's not a thing in anime. <laughs> Everyone uh, is completely clean shaven." At all times in anime, but not in <laughs> Super this. Super slick boys. This guy had what's that called? The uh, the belly hair, the happy trail. <laughs> like happy trail, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He had that. I was like, yes, because <laughs> teenagers have that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking no, acknowledge I... body hair. None of this uh, body hair shaming anymore. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm really liking that show because it's. Uh, it. I'm without high is probably like my favorite show ever. Oh, for yeah. whatever I don't I probably couldn't even tell you why I just love like everything about it I hear it's hyped and, oh yeah very <laughs> much so and uh so wait have you not have you not seen it I have not you should definitely you should definitely watch it I it was one of those shows I hated volleyball and then for some reason started I think I saw like a bunch of like AMVs on it and it finally was like I'll watch a couple episodes and I was like immediately hooked is it and better I've, it's like it's like 60 episodes and I've watched it like three or four times. Is it better than the best volleyball show ever uh, Harukana received? <laughs> I I believe so. <laughs> not as much fan like not as much uh, female fan service, That's, but uh, that show sucked. <laughs> Cuz yeah, I I heard it was high Q but with butts and the butts were yeah. there sure. But there's just no, no content was, and the no, volleyball yeah, was, was so boring. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. Well yeah, so high Q is amazing. That was a tangent, but that's it. Reminded we have I've been without it for like a while now because I'm still waiting on season four, and this was like a perfect way to like kind of get those like urges out of the way without having to go back and watch it again because <laughs> it's like the same staff doing like just a different sports show, and they've somehow made running entertaining and like pretty hype. Shockingly. Oh hey, Uma Musume, did you see that? I did not. <laughs> That's a good running show. <laughs> Cute horse girls. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I mean, I'm good. <laughs> kind of ironically enjoyed it at first, but at the end I was like really invested <laughs> for whatever reason. <laughs> I actually cared. Uh, I, Yeah, no, I, I debated it when I saw that show come out. I thought about watching the first episode and then I was like, I'm good. I'll yeah. just watch something else. I, mean, I could see why people would be <laughs> turned off by it, but I ended up really liking it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey all the more power to you thank you <laughs> someone's gotta watch this shit <laughs> uh, I think that was it do you have a twitter where people can go follow uh, uh, not really I, no, mine's no, no. like a personal twitter so all right yeah I will link I've your got, you can link you can link my mail though I will link your mail yeah uh, yeah that was it uh, we're I'm gonna be back next week and thank you for come for joining me yeah, it was fun. It was a nice way to spend my afternoon. <laughs>
I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. And yeah, I'll see everybody else ne- next week. Bye. Bye bye.